I don't hate simple citizens. I just hate Putin because what he's done here. Like, I watched my friends die, you know? And at the same time, Putin says that all that we're doing is propaganda from Georgia. Like, they were bombing a civil cities here. The Georgia has bombed our shelter. But now Abkhazia is a part of Russia, and the Georgia is tired to, to bomb Abkhazia or whatever. It's, it's not part of Russia, dude. The Abkhazia was part of Georgia since, I don't know, 2000 years maybe? And when. Yes. It was, and but now, as territory, it's a part of Russia. And uh, yeah, Georgia that, invades that, that, yeah, that's, a part yeah, of Russia. That's the, that's the problem, you know? Like, Abkhazians think that they're independent, right? You think that Abkhazia is part of Russia, and Georgia thinks that it's part of Georgia, right? I don't think, I don't think so. I just, uh, uh, I just look at the map, and uh, what I say at the map, I say that Abkhazia is a part of Russia. Just what I see. I don't give a shit about politics. I don't give a shit about the war. Really. Dude, how you... I just that's care your about the people. That's your Russian maps that show that. You can Google everything. Abkhazia is part of Georgia because everyone, except Russia, says that it's part of Georgia and Russia is occupying Georgia. Okay. So, how do this politics shit connect to simple people? Why do Europeans hate Russians, not Putin, not the president? Because the simple citizens of Russia. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll say it to you. Because instead of cooperating with Europe, you guys, I don't know, have monopoly on gas, also you went in Crimea, you went in Georgia, why you do that? By the way, Why the, the, Crimea, Crimea, for example? the Crimea, Crimea was a part of Russia, not Ukraine, uh, until 1954. Uh, then the president yeah. uh, gave it to, yeah. to Ukraine. Uh, in 1994, it was a summit where uh, Yeltsin says to Ukraine, "You can, you can take the Crimea, and we don't want it." But the Crimea yeah, has been taken know, Russia since, yeah, I don't know, since, since always, maybe. Yeah, that, that's the same thing with Abkhazia, and you also know that Sochi was part of Georgia as well, and Stalin gave it to Russia. Did you know that? Okay, Did so... You know that? No, I didn't know that, but uh, the question is still open. Why do European citizens hate Russian citizens, not the president? Just simply citizens. I played well, on different European servers, uh, and and everywhere, if people hear my voice, they uh, know I'm Russian, and they said Russians are stupid, Russians are bad, blah blah blah, whatever. Well, How I don't know about connect to this. Okay, let, let me talk. I don't know about the yeah. uh, simple citizens, man. I don't hate because I have many Russian friends. And I also know some Russian too, but... Uh, from my experience, like, I play a lot of Dota as well, like... I'm not playing this game anymore. And Russians are... You know, some Russians don't speak English, and they refuse to speak English because they're Russian. They're, yeah, I know that. You know. And, you know... Some Russians are also rude, not all Russians are good, and when they refuse to talk in English, it's kind of confusing because they're playing on European servers. So, from the Dota game and from the MOBA games, the Russian community is not very polite, as I know, because they refuse to speak English. So, maybe yeah, because of that... Yeah, I know that. Okay, maybe because of that, but uh, you know, as for me, when I talk to, to a simple human, a man, a woman, I don't care, uh, I uh, make my opinion of him only, only after he talks or he makes moves or whatever in the game. Then, only then, I make an opinion. I don't give a shit about his uh, citizenship, where he came from, or his, na or his nationality, or whatever. I judge person by his moves or his words. 
but uh, every European citizen judges the person only because it's, he's Russian. When I say I'm Russian, they said, oh, you're dumb, you're stupid, you're rude, and whatever. Well, because there are many, like, uh, the things that are going in Ukraine right now is, I don't know. I don't think it's really right to do that because I have, an, I have friends from Ukraine and they say that 20,000 people is dead, like 30,000 people is dead uh, from the Ukrainian side and you know attention is big so I think right now because of that but I don't know, oh, as I said Continue. Yeah, like for that, and also because the reputation of the um, uh, Russian community in MOBA games is really low. So yeah, I don't you know. know. I don't know. But it's not, 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 not the whole reason to judge all about everyone. All yeah, I don't know what kind of uh, Europeans you meet, but not all Europeans are like that. And I also can see that you're not uh, one of the dumb Russians who just, you know, uh, calls, you a hamburg calls you a hamburger and American and Obama socks and so on, you know? I don't really oh, care about uh, it. Summits, summits declare the war to each other and uh, simple people just suffer. People who were friends in the USSR just started to hate each other now. Georgians hate uh, Russians, that, Russians hate Georgians, because Russians because hate Ukrainians, that, Ukrainians, that, you know, Ukrainians that, it's Russians. You know, that's what Russia did, that's what Putin did in my opinion. Because, because if Russia would come with peace like uh, America did, like erupted, why would fucking need the Americans on our side? Because we love Russians more than Americans, but Russians came with tanks and bombed us and did not very good things, I think. So now I know the situation, now the Georgians also see the situation in Ukraine and this is the exact same thing what happened in Georgia 20 years ago when Russia actually entered in Abkhazia because when we went in when we achieved independence Russia uh, you know the situation in Ukraine right? the separatists well the situation in, with the Ukraine is uh, kind of difficult because uh, yeah. Uh, yeah there are Ukraine, well, people if you put if you put it simply, there is pro-Ukrainian people and there is pro-Russian people. The people who support Russia, uh, who can be called separatists because they want to separate. And then there is Ukrainian people who doesn't want to separate. The same thing was in Georgia, but in Georgia actually the mi minority won. Which means that 300,000 uh, 300, people were forced to move from their home because of the separatists. Uh, the situation in Ukraine started uh, with the Maidan when uh, the people wants to change uh, the power of uh, the country. Then it came uh, in a civil war where some people wants to separate from the country. And then yeah, uh, right. some people yeah. asked, uh, uh, let me let me finish, dude, let, please. Let, when, when, okay. Until I lost yeah. until I lost my thoughts. Uh, then uh, some people asked uh, help from Russia because uh, the Ukrainian Ukrainian uh, uh, power, or I don't know, I forget the forget the word. Uh, Ukrainians started to bomb and kill uh, their citizens. So, uh, several people, or uh, uh, maybe a lot of, asked uh, help from Russia. And uh, then, somebody declares it as a war. 
Ukrainians yeah. uh, are not yeah. the sub separated nation uh, as uh, Georgians and Russians. Georgians and Russians are different people, different nations. Ukrainians are the same nation as Russians. Ukrainian is not a nation. It's, uh, it's, a, it, it's uh, just a territory. It came from a Russian word, Ukraine. It means a lot of Yeah, I know uh, that yeah. uh, Ukrainian and Russian people are both Slavs, right? Like Belarus. Yep, yep. Uh, but it's not the same country. You know, like, yeah. Uh, yeah but, like, uh, what do we have now? We have Ukrainians and Russians who argued with each other only because uh, Ukrainians want to change the power in the country. You know what uh, the current president of Ukraine said uh, about the World War II? He said that USSR in invades in Germany and USSR invades in Ukraine. Can you believe it? Well, what I know from... What I know from Ukraine, what happened there, is that, you know, you have this pro-Russian and pro-Ukrainian, right? And then you have the separatists who started the war, who had the illegal weapons, who wanted to separate. So what you do as Ukrainian government, you make sure that you eliminate the separatists, right? It's the law of uh, every country. And what separatists did is that they actually went in civil cities and started war there. So I think, you know, it, it was not the Russia's business to help the separatists because they are separatists. And it was only Ukrainians' business to, uh, you know, shut down the separatists down. Uh, Okay, now my opinion. Ukraine uh, starts to kill the people who wants to change the power in the country. Uh, these people who suffers from uh, the Ukrainian moves, they act help in, help in Russia. Russia can't refuse to help people who who suffers from the Ukrainian deeds. So we offer them help. Because uh, Ukraine killed, kills uh, she, her, her own people, her own citizens. So we uh, offer to help to, to these people. But uh, what we have now? You, you help try with the troops, uh, bit, right? Uh, bit, yeah. bit, bit more fun. Just uh, take a good look at the situation uh, in uh, Russia and Ukraine. Uh, uh, now, Russians, Slovenians, Russians and Ukrainians are Slovenian. So, uh, same same people, Russians and Ukrainian. They hate uh, each other now. And uh, some somebody makes a lot of money on this. Yeah, but why? Why would Russia went there and uh, went to Crimea? Why? Why? Because it's. I think it's Russia's fault. Because it's what uh, Putin caused this hate. Right? It's not Russian's fault, it's uh, part of a because plan to, uh, to make uh, Russians hate Ukrainians. It's part of a big, one big plan. Because but when Russia... Uh, when brothers hate, hate each other, it's uh, easy to conquer all of them. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know, but what Russia could do, she could not interrupt and not uh, send the troops there and not started to killing Ukrainians because Russian troops are actually now killing their brothers Ukrainians as well which is not only uh, Russians, Russian troops only killed uh, the part of uh, power in Ukraine who killed their own citizens we just no, have to help true, them. dude it's war, yes. you don't know what war is in I, war, everything, I want to everything see any war. Is. War is bad. Any war is I know. bad because people die. I know. I know, but I blame Russia because what they did was not uh, right to interrupt the free country of Ukraine. Nobody, nobody is crazy. Nobody is killing. Nobody is 
crazy in Ukraine government and nobody is killing their own citizens. They were only killing the separatists who had illegal weapons and... No. Nope. I think, uh, I think yeah. you just missed some part of information. Ukraine has started to kill people who uh, just want to, to change the power. Uh, who came in Maidan and wants to change the power in the country. They started to kill, to kill their own citizens. I think you just missed some information. Try to read uh, some different sources about uh, Russia and Ukraine. Dude, I think you just missed, missed some part of information. Uh, I know that uh, in Maidan they started killing people, right? Yeah. But, that's, but why it Russia, was, it was, that's why Russia interrupts. Because uh, uh, the country started uh, to kill the wrong people. The old president started to kill the people, right? In Maiden. Yep. Maiden. Yep. That's why Russia interrupts. So why Russia interrupts when the old president is down and now the new government is there? Actually, I know that Putin also supported the old president. Well, uh, the situation is kind of difficult. Putin did not support the old president. It's a part of a big game to separate well, he, the he, Russians and Ukrainians. He, he, and he, said, he said himself on interview that, you know, he called him and uh, suggested some stuff because the old president was pro-Russian and the new president is pro-European. Yeah, pro, pro USA maybe. Uh, you know, uh, that uh, current president is uh, only what he wants is to argue with the Russia. The others are now arguing. Well, what, what I want to say is that uh, Russia made a big mistake interrupting in Ukraine's free space and also interrupting in Georgia's free space because uh, in 2008 if you remember the conflict between Georgia and Russia yeah, um, this, this Ossetians um, who live in uh, this territory who is actually Georgian territory there is only one Ossetia it's east uh, I mean uh, north Ossetia, right? There is okay. no South Ossetia. There is no South Ossetia. Uh, the South Ossetia is actually a region of uh, Russia. That's called. It's a Georgian territory. Uh, they, but uh, what happened? Uh, that there were many Ossetians living there. And then the same thing happened, like uh, in Ukraine. In Ukraine there were many Russians, and then in uh, Georgia, in this territory, there were many Ossetians, and then they just uh, wanted to separate. Okay, I'll tell you next.